Hi guys, in this video, I'll be telling you everything you need to know about small HD monitors. Most of the small HD's monitors are very well built and they are production monitors to be honest and many of them are having screws, uh, threads on sides and on top to mount the accessories like Teradek or anything like that. And on Cine18 and Cine24 you are having 4 SDI inputs and 4 SDI outputs along with that you have HDMI in and out. What it means you can have multiple cameras, you can show 4 cameras on the same time on 24 or 18 Cine monitors of small HD. Uh, DP or director uh, can be sitting on this monitor and they can guide the operators to panel left or right to set the exposure and everything and it's a very helpful tool to have on set along with you when you have multi-camera setup. Small HD monitors will have assignable buttons and by long pressing those buttons it will open a new setup for you where you can choose the action for that button particularly. And on Cine18 you have 8 assignable buttons so you can have eight different tasks on those buttons and by clicking you can have that action being done like like you can assign a button for taking a screenshot and when you will click that button you will take a screenshot automatically you can have false color on one of the buttons just to see the exposure you can have one color for brightness just by clicking it will increase and decrease the brightness you can have one button for toggling the inputs like between SDI 1 2 3 4 if you have multiple cameras and you don't want to show them all you want to see one by one you can just toggle by the button so many things can be done by these buttons and they are very useful and you can choose how you want to use them now there is a joystick button if you press it it will select whatever is there or it will enter and by clicking it up what it will do is it will zoom in on the picture and then you can move the zoom as well and if you click it down what it will do is it will zoom out and it will show you the pages and if you go left and right by that you will toggle between the pages now small HD monitors to be honest to me are the most advanced monitors on set. And when I say that what I mean is it's having a lot of features which I'm gonna show you guys now. So let me just jump in. So if you are on any of the pages and you click the joystick in it will show you this pop up which says add new tool. Now if I click on add new tool what it's gonna show me is framing first of all and in framing I have aspect, I have safe, I have crosshair and I have cross hatch. These are four things. So first of all let me show you what aspect is. So if I click on aspect and then I say add to this page it will add frame line tool to that page and let me show you how you can set up the frame lines. So when you will select it, it will already be enabled as you can see and after that you have aspect ratios. You can choose between uh, different aspect ratios like 4 by 3, uh, 1.86 or uh, 1 by 1 or any or 9 by 16. And uh, after that what you can do is you can select the mat or line. Mat is like uh, having uh, it shaded on the side and uh, line is just gonna show a line of that and then you can choose the color as well. So like any of the color I will go with the red one and then go to line as you can see and uh, it's just gonna show you the lines and then in opacity you can increase or decrease the opacity I will go 100% of opacity and as you can see it's it's showing the frame lines there so you can have your guides on this monitor without sending from the camera to be honest. Now safe is a smaller version of your frame and you can put it and see how it works for you. After that what I'm gonna show you is cross here when I add to this page and I go you have it enabled and then you have the color I will go with the red one as you uh, can see and then size you can increase or decrease and then you have opacity and you have style. In style you can have a point, you can have a block and you have you can have crosshair. So these, these are the options for your crosshair to be in the middle uh, if you are operating a joystick or uh, on the wheels it's gonna be precision thing for you. After that you have cross hatch. What I mean by cross hatch is it's grid on your frame and when you enable it as you can see it will be like this and you go through the colors. I will put the color as red then you can go on opacity I will make it 100 and you can decrease or increase whatever you want and then regions you can have two regions three four five till nine regions after that you have expose window and in expose window you have exposure assist you have zebra you have a uh, color picker and you have backlight when we say exposure assist it means false color and if I add this to that page 
what will happen is you will have a false color you as you can see displayed here and then you have different spectrums and different ways of showing false color like you have airy false color you have spectrum one two three and el zone el zone is getting very popular nowadays and not all the monitors are having that it shows you the exposure stop by stop and you can use that feature only when you have the log footage coming in your monitor as per now i don't have the log footage in my monitor so i cannot show you guys so if someone will ask you i wanna see the false color in el zone you can show it here after that you have zebra i will not go through zebra but if you will enable zebra and you set your highlights uh, where it should clip it will be showing you zebra on the highlights as you know why how we use it and then there is color picker and then there is backlight backlight is very important why because sometimes what dop will do is when they are doing gear check on when they are starting the shoot what they do is they will take the monitor and they will set their preferred brightness and they will say no one should touch this monitor so you can just notice that brightness and make a brightness button here and even if someone will touch it and he will change the settings what you can do is you can come to this page and you can enable this brightness button and it will have the same brightness which was being set by dp and he will appreciate you a lot for that and after that we have scopes and in scopes we have histogram we have waveform and we have vector scope and many of the dps will be okay with waveform but when you will enable it it will be covering half of top of your screen and that's now how the dp would like to see that what he would like to do is he would like to have it smaller in a corner of the monitor so when you will enable it it will be looking something like this and then you will have to go to settings and in your layout you will have full screen or you have a height and width so you can decrease the width and then you can decrease the height and after that as you can see there is location and in location you can change the location wherever you want it to be so that's where uh, uh, most of the dps would like it to be and that's how you do it so all of the effects are gonna be similar like you enable them and then they have some adjustment options and you can go through those options and they will be adjusted like waveform was on half screen you can make it smaller you can put it somewhere else same goes with everything they can be chained and they can be placed uh, wherever you want them and in scope same is gonna be with the histogram and uh, vector scope you can enable them and you can put them wherever you want and you can make them smaller smaller or bigger and one more thing in small hd by default there is a page which is called scopes and it will have your picture on one corner and the other three scopes on the sides of that and that is a very good page for the dps who are crazy about scopes and exposure you can have this on and you can show them this page and they will love you after that you have the focus settings and in focus settings you have focus assist and peaking I'm not a big fan of focus assist on small HD because when you enable it, it shows you where it's focusing. But when you look at it, it will be having a weird effect going on your picture, which uh, I don't know why it happens. But if you go to a uh, background black and white and you adjust your contrast and brightness as per your preference, you might like it and then after that you have peaking peaking is good to have to be honest it just makes your picture look a bit more sharper and you have ease in focusing guys after that you have overlay and in overlay there is a very important feature which is called look now you can import any of the looks through sd card or you have some built-in looks as well if you want to apply them and then comes the feature which made this monitor very popular which is called image overlay what you can do is basically you can take a grab of any of the shots which is going to be matched after and then when you go on that set what will happen is you can have that picture on the background and overlay the live on that and that's how you can match the framing and to do the overlay what you need to do is you need to uh, enable the image overlay and you will open it what you can do is it it's already gonna be on use last capture what it means is like the last picture which you took it will already be at the background but in my case what the picture which I took is the same picture which is displayed now so I will choose another picture and this way you can see as well like how you can choose any other picture to overlay at the background I will just disable the used latest uh, capture and when I disabled I can choose uh, the other pictures and I will go to images now 
and I have many other pictures from other sets I will take one of those and I will select them and then you can see this picture is on the background so what I will do after that is I can adjust in many other ways I will go to the settings and I can make the opacity 100% and 50% just to see how it looks or what I can do is I can go to the blink speed and in blink speed I can keep it one or two and then uh, i can go on opacity and make make it 100 so it's gonna flip between the pictures so it will show one by one after that you have crop and scale what it means is like you can crop a picture and then it will put it on the full frame and then you have dslr camera scale and after that what you have is size and position what size and position is is like you can make it smaller and position on the screen and the other side you can put any other thing like vectorscope or uh, histogram which, which you saw on the scopes page and that's how it's being done after that you have anamorphic d squeeze option like if you are using any anamorphic lens and you have a camera which is not having the feature to show you the anamorphic d squeeze you can have the footage on this monitor and d squeeze and see how it's actually gonna look and uh, last but not the least in these features you have a uh, live grade plus teradac rt live grade is for the palm fort live grade uh, software if you are gonna use an ethernet to this laptop you will have that directly connected and you can get commands from live grade software Teradec RT is the wireless focus system of Teradec and if you have connected that to small HD monitor what it will do is it will be uh, showing you the iris and focus and everything on the sides of your screen which is a plus to have. Now let me go to the settings and when you go to settings you have input and output after that you have color pipe. Backlight is same as that but you can set it here as well and then you have calibration which is the most important uh, thing to be honest in uh, settings and that's the reason most of the time when we uh, why we come uh, here. So uh, in calibration what you can do is you can tweak your uh, gains and lift you don't have the gammas. So in uh, gains like you have uh, RGB and in uh, lift you have RGB as well and then you have an option to increase or decrease the saturation as well. So basically you can tweak the settings and uh, try to match the monitor with each other to be honest but there is another way to calibrate it as well which is the proper way and I'm not gonna show you that because it already is a very long video. And after that in settings you have other features like uh, if you wanna reset it or if you wanna set the speaker volume and if you wanna set the headphones uh, volume and many other things you can go through and find out uh, it's it's important to know but not very important. Now the last thing which I wanna show you is how you can have multiple cameras on your monitor and you can tell your camera okay on which window is gonna be which SDI input or HDMI and how am I gonna show them like two cameras and one camera or four cameras or two cameras only. So let me just show you. So what you need to do is you need to press down button and scroll all the way to the right and then there will be an option to add a new page and in that add a new page what you can have is you can see there is one page called multi if you will click on this it will add a multi page so on this first of all you have layouts like if you want to have four cameras or three cameras or two cameras or four cameras one uh, big picture and three small or three cameras one big and two small these are the layouts so you will have to select first of all which layout you want and then on top you have the settings so I will go with the four camera setup like one two three and four and then I will show you how you can assign SDI inputs to the windows like four windows on the first one I would always like to have camera A and then camera B and camera C and camera D camera A is gonna be SDI 1 camera B is gonna be SDI 2 camera C is gonna be SDI 3 and camera B is gonna be SDI 4 so to do that what you do is you go in that as you can see if you click here and then you click on the input on input you can select which one you want so on the one you will uh, on the first window you will want SDI 1 so I will go with SDI 1 and then that's how you can go back go to the other window and select that and you will have four windows settled for now I don't have four feeds I have only one feed and just to show you guys four feeds on the camera what I will do is on the monitor sorry 
what I will do is I will uh, go through and I will select all as SDI2 because the video is coming at SDI2. So if I do that, what will happen is you can see four cameras, four uh, inputs on the monitor but it's the same input because it's uh, all are linked to the SDI2. So this is kind of routing system in SDI which is amazing to be honest. So that was pretty much it and I hope you guys liked it and it was helpful for you guys. If it was please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos like this. See you in the next one.